Uh, my name's Ari. I uh, have, this is my third stay of the map, but I'm really excited to be here. Um, I've had kind of a mixed career. I did some software development. By the time I was at my first stay of the map, which was in Seattle, I worked at Tableau Software. And then I moved back into government work where I originally brought my career to probation. And currently I am the state GIS specialist for the state of Illinois for the USDA and RCS. There's 50 of my position across the country and I represent Illinois. And I am here to talk about none of that because I'm here to talk about a project that was founded in Seattle when I was still living there during the pandemic when I was on top of working a parent, which is also a very fun phase of life. I will never forget parenting during the pandemic. Uh, while I was doing that, uh, doing my job, there was multiple youth programs I was associated with at my uh, current, <laughs> that employment. Uh, so Seattle had a program for working with youth to help them learn about tree surveying. Completely got blown up by the pandemic. Uh, we didn't know what the pandemic was, but we just knew that kids could not come into our offices. We shouldn't be around kids. No program. And while I was doing this, I was just like, oh, guys, this is so silly. We can make an app. We do not need the kids to come meet us and be in our computers or put Excel documents together. If you want to do tree survey, we really think you can do it without much help just now. And so that's what founded the project. It was a youth engagement app. Uh, came to formation during the pandemic. Uh, the prototype was built during that time. And hooray, we're no longer in the pandemic. Very excited about this. And now I'm in Illinois. And really, we just wanted to ask the question, you know, who needs tree apps? And really, a lot of people do. Um, right now, all municipalities, cities, my job at the feds, tracking urban trees is very difficult. We do not have a national database for uh, uh, urban trees. The FIA, which is the Forest Inventory Analysis, which is a longitudinal survey, that the Forest Service puts together does not track urban trees. And urban trees are actually extremely impactful. They're usually uh, right behind agriculture and uh, oceanography. They're right behind and uh, storing carbon. And they're also just had a fun fire, so you guys know this, uh, very impactful on air pollution and a whole bunch of other stuff. So suddenly the project aim didn't just focus on youth. We wanted to know how to help beginners, people who don't know anything about trees, how to get into knowing about trees. And we, <laughs> along came the app. Um, development's been fast and heady and we've been on it for three years. We currently have an AI to help people identify the tree. We have a DBH measuring tool. If you're not strolling the streets with one of these, these are DBH tape, uh, we will let your phone do it for you. And we've done a lot of work. And again, this is all open source. And so, uh, fun things coming up. We've added new badges. These are badges in the works uh, to help us identify very important pollinator trees like the white oak. Supports over 900 different species of caterpillars. Very monumental tree. A uh, big thing that we do is we find tree benefits. We don't just identify the tree. We tell you what that tree, that tree that you're sitting from uh, sequester carbon and air pollution. And I'm all out of time, but there's more fun happening uh sunday where we will be doing a workshop and we'll be taking it out to show you how to take a tree and use our app hope to see you there thanks guys